Ah, uh, man, here we go. I'm gonna start busting myths again. So if you watch any of the Axe channels, and I love, I do watch the Axe channels, and I do like these men. Uh, but, uh, was it Skill Cult, Wrangler Star? All these guys say the axe you need. Most of them say it's this axe. A nice, like this is the the Council Tool Boys Axe. Boys Axe. Yeah. Uh, this is a really nice one. This is the uh, the Forestry Service Axe, and uh, Skill Cult. I think I'm saying that right. Skill Cult especially says this is the axe you need. It's nice and it's light and it's and it's easy, uh, e easy to aim with, and you don't get tired. And that's the axe you need. And I say bullshit. They call it a boy's axe for a reason. The man's axe. Okay. So now maybe you don't need as much of a man axe as this one. This is a <laughs> this is a custom job from North Point Axe. It's a six pound head. It's a six pound felling axe with a. I don't know if that's a Michigan pattern or not. I, I don't remember. But th but this is a hell of an axe. But let me tell you. Well, don't let me tell you now why you need a man's axe. Uh, so so they say, you know, it's it's light and it's easy to 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 use and you don't get tired and you can aim well with it. And they're right, you can aim well and you don't get tired. But it does significantly less work. Oh, come on. Than the man's axe. Look, that was two two downward hits with the man's axe. Uh, skill called especially will use these mathematical formulas and whatnot. When our forefathers went west, they didn't take boys' axes. They took man axes because the point is to do work and to not fall on your face. Uh, and if you're going to do work, you need big, heavy tools. Now, there's a reason why the so say it's nice and light and easy to use because you're you're not used to the big heavy axe, which I say bullshit. So what the ho oh, it's light and easy to aim crowd is forgetting is that most of us split firewood. I have to split firewood. I mean, uh, that's kind of the the first step of self sufficiency is heating your house with firewood to a certain extent. And if you split firewood, you're already using, my, uh, my small maul is outside in the rain, you're already using a six pound a maul. Uh, and those are the, now the Fiskar, I think the Fiskar, the split, split maxes, excuse me, are four pounds. But, but the, the, the starting level splitting maul is six pounds. I, I keep the six pounds for my, my sons who, uh, who didn't, you weren't raised in my house when they come over I let they use the six pound so they don't break the the handles on my uh, 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 my good malls this is my eight pounder which is kind of my sissy mall my usual mall is ten pounders it's a ten pounder oh my gosh I can hardly do it maybe they have a point uh, so I'm already swinging the vast majority of, of of, of my swinging is with heavy, heavier malls, heavier axes. I don't like the axes, they're malls. Heavier malls than we're talking about. Uh, and, and most of yours should be too. You should already be used to swinging a six pound maul. Uh, but anywho, so you need a big, you at least need to be able to use a big heavy. So yeah, here you go. The, the whole point is you don't use big heavy axes, so you can't use big heavy axes. So use the little tight, light tiny axes, which means you'll never be able to use the big heavy axe. And I say no, especially you're splitting your firewood. You're already using the heavy stuff anyway, like we talked about. Get a big heavy axe. Maybe you don't want a, a six pounder, but look at that. That was two hits. And I wasn't even aiming. I was just sticking the thing. I wasn't trying to chop. Now, obviously, I was up a little higher than I would naturally be. This rain and this mud, excuse me. <laughs> what was that? Four, five, that might have been six hits. And it's not doing anywhere near the work the big one did. And just two little offhand, you know, <laughs> trying to stick it. So the whole point of an axe is to perform work. 
to fell trees, to build cabins or palisades or whatever the hell it, I mean, you know. And that really, that's really what we gotta be thinking about, building log cabins. Cause that incorporates all the skill sets you need to survive. If this was a survival situation or a homestead situation or, you know, a world without rule of law. If you can build a log cabin, you can do everything else you need to do. You can't build a log cabin with a silky saw. Sorry, man. You can't. You've got to have an axe. If you're going to have an axe, you don't want a boy's axe. You want a man's axe. There's a reason why they call it a boy's axe. But the point of an axe is to chop down trees and to work wood. And the bigger, heavier axe you have, the, the not the easier, the more work you can get done in the same amount of time. You can get more work done in the same amount of time. Sure, you're going to burn more calories. Sure, it's going to be harder. It's work, dadgummit. It's not bushcraft. <laughs> it's work. You need a big, heavy tool. You need a man's tool to do man's work. You don't need a boy's axe to do man's work. As, as nice as this little axe is, I do like it. You know, I, I, would, I would never say only have one axe. You know, I, I use this one. It's good for limbing, it's good for knocking little stuff down. But you need to be able to use the big heavy one. We're gonna be doing a lot more videos with this, this big six pound axe, I'm in love with it. Uh, but it's a, called the boy's axe for a reason. Get yourself a man's axe. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. Y'all get your axes. <laughs>